Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. Today it is 40 some odd degrees and we have either slush or ice everywhere. And I need to fix the water fill line for the stock tank down there. And I need to shovel out the greenhouse before the weather changes again. This thing, my daughter and I shoveled it out yesterday. You can see the line went down to a corner down there and then went over to the tank. When they plowed, it pushed the pipe down and it went down on the T-post there too, so it made a blockage down in the corner here. Of course, that froze up, the pipe filled up. I took the plug out of the end here, just came right out but we're not going to be able to use this the rest of the winter so I don't have any more pipe laying around so what I'm going to do I had one two inch electrical conduit and I think three of them will get me there so the one that I have sitting by the door in there along with these two that I went to town and picked up yesterday. These three should make it from up here down to the tank. We fill with that hydrant, that blue hydrant right there, frost proof hydrant. And normally we would run, the, we have a lightweight collapsible hose that we just put into this pipe and turn the hydrant on and the water goes down and fills it up. So we're going to do the same thing but from over here more. Oh, maybe right here. I'm going to take a T-post and or I'm going to take several T-posts and just pound them down until they hit something. I'm not going to be able to pound them into the ground. And I'm going to try to concoct something that will just get the water from somewhere right about here down into the tank. Otherwise, I mean, you can run the hose down there, but when it's really nasty out, this can be pretty difficult to get down to. There is a permanent solution. There is a water line that runs right, oh, right about here, runs all the way down, and it runs all the way around. We're on a well share. And we have six properties on the well share. We own most of the properties. And we have, uh, we have a, a hydrant here. We have the house water. We have a hydrant there. We have a hydrant here. We're going to put in a hydrant up on the new land this summer. And we should put a hydrant here. But the problem is the line is six feet down and you have to deal with boulders so you have to have somebody come I can't just trench it myself and, and like I said you have to be six feet down which is a hell of a lot of work even just coming from right here somewhere over to here so uh, maybe we'll just do it you know put a hydrant right here and the hydrant is um, I believe a normal hydrant is about Oh, geez, the hydrant we have over there is probably $150. These are like six, $700 if, I've, if I'm correct. I'll have to look into that. So we might need to dig this hydrant out and then just use that one down here. Uh, that was for the former owners had their camper there, so that was for their camper hookup. What we'll likely do is just get rid of that. Uh, put that one down here and then run the water line over the shed and put a new shutoff down there and uh, spigot down there. So if we do have a camper here, we can still run water to it with a longer hose. But then we can use this expensive hydrant, which doesn't need to be up there. It needs to be right there. But at any rate, today I'm going to have to go down 
oh it's probably a block away and grab three t posts and the pounder and bring that up here i don't know if i'll need the pounder or not but i i might get that and then i will just um strap strap the pipe together or strap the pipe to the t post with some zip ties and kind of like this here and hopefully that works if uh, when we have future plowing um, I'm gonna put some something to mark the T post some uh, surveyor tape or something on the top of it so it's more visible hopefully he doesn't knock it down again um, it's not his fault you know it's over the edge he couldn't see it but this time he should be able to see it and and uh, if I have it way over here you know he probably won't hit it so that's my task I'm gonna get to it I'm walking down to get the T posts and the pounder and I noticed this this tree is it's taller than me I'm six foot four so it's about seven feet tall it has one two three four stems and then one that the rabbits chewed through right here but this was not here when I planted the garden and it wasn't here when I was doing most of the tending to the garden that's how quick these damn weed trees grow it's insane a bucket of water I left here these uh, grapevines will be getting pruned not too long from now it's February 2nd I believe or maybe it, no it's the third Groundhog Day was yesterday so well, about a month and a half maybe or maybe uh, no no it could be any time in uh, any time in March I can prune those the little blue stem all flattened down I'm not going to be burning it this year, but I will be burning it next year. It'll look just like this, and then in the spring, I'll come along and, and burn the whole thing. And I believe I will be doing that every three years on this one here. This is the winter oats that I planted here but this will be um, probably all little blue stem just like this uh, that's just because it's it grows well this will actually have uh, side oats grandma in it as well low growing stuff so that it uh, doesn't kill our view some of the grasses like the big blue stem are you know nine ten feet tall okay yeah it is really slippery here some places that are fully thawed like right here it's it's mushy and then it's ice right below that this stuff is really tricky to drive on because it, it makes your car wiggle around yeah this is well like spring it's a bad time of year oh jesus christ i think our plow guy did this uh, yeah obviously you could see where he plowed holy shit Al, well, it's lucky i didn't have a, a full gate you know we have gates that need to go in right there and the posts are right there we're gonna have a full you know 20 foot gate here it's lucky that didn't get hit you know t posts are easy enough to replace but i'm surprised nobody said anything he knocked this down and then my daughter came down here to get hay and i i haven't heard a thing about this oh well i'm gonna grab three t posts and get to work
Well, that wasn't too hard. Now I just gotta get this pounder back down there. I didn't need it at all. I could feel it hitting the rock down there. When this starts melting, this will, this will end up falling over, so I'll have to mess with this a couple more times this winter, I guess. But it should, as soon as it starts freezing up again, this will be solid as a rock, and hopefully it'll, it'll last long enough to uh, get me through the winter. So I just got to put that back and put a flag on that and then shovel out a little bit around the greenhouse. I was just in the greenhouse and it is, I think it was 45 degrees or so, which is surprising. I, I would have thought it would be like 60 in there, but I just wanted to uh, show you this. can hear the drain is working fine comes out over there kind of underneath the cedar tree there at some point this is going to have a trench along this whole thing with a grate on the top because the way everything is graded a lot of water comes to here and I need a way to get rid of it and that running right now shows me that you know even in the dead of the winter I can get rid of the water if it freezes and thaws too many times that pipe would probably freeze up but then in that case I would have to just go over the top but for the most part this is going to be a real nice system you know in the summer it'll work a lot better but right now without that I'd have water everywhere here it's, it's been running, you know, for a day and a half now. Okay, I'm gonna get this pounder back down there, grab my new shovel. I had to get a new shovel yesterday when I was in town because I broke that one trying to fix this. But it was a little cracked anyways. Okay, I'm gonna get the pounder put away and get going on the green. Well, looks pretty good. We'll be getting more snow, obviously, and it'll slide down there again. But at least I'm ahead of the game here. Looks pretty good. 
Let's take a look inside here. Yeah, very, very wet. Just soaked. You can see the water up on top of there. This was the, the most frost I've seen on it right before yesterday. It was just drenched. Let's see what this is in Fahrenheit, 50 degrees in here. Yeah, it's very hot in here. I'm getting a little overheated. So everything looks good to go. I got my water line to the horses fixed and that should be good. Hope I'm hoping until the end of winter, but if not, I'll reset it up. I was hoping to get this bench put together today, but not in the cards. So hopefully I can do it tomorrow. That'll have to wrap it up for today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on updates so you're notified when we post new videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.